how to fix the issue where your PS5 is not connecting to the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to show you three or four steps you can take to go and fix this issue and connect your PS5 to the Wi-Fi. Now before we start this video, make sure your PlayStation's fully shut down. Go and unplug any cables that are going into the back of the PlayStation. Once your power cord has been disconnected, you need to do the same thing for your router as well. Make sure your router is completely shut down and turned off. And we're just going to wait around 60 seconds while both of these are off. After 60 seconds, you can go and reconnect everything and then you can try turning everything back on and sometimes just doing that solves the issue. Now, if it's not working, you need to head over to your PlayStation home screen and what we're going to do is come up to the settings in the top right-hand side of the screen. You can then scroll down to network and click on this, scroll over to the right-hand side and then scroll down to view PlayStation network status and the first thing we're going to do is click on this. Now, this is just going to let us know if there's any issues with the PS network. Now obviously if there's an issue with the PlayStation servers, this will be the reason why you can't connect to the Wi-Fi. So all you're looking for here is basically a green tick to say all services are up and running. And if this is the case, then there's an issue with your network rather than the servers themselves. So what we need to do is come back over to the previous window and then we can come over to the left hand side and click on settings. You then need to make sure connect to the internet is turned on like this. And then you can click on set up internet connection. Now at the moment you can see I'm already connected to a network and if you're like me and you're also connected to a Wi-Fi already then what we need to do is just go and disconnect and reconnect to this network. So you can do that by clicking the options button in the top right hand side and then you need to scroll down to forget and click on this. Now once you've forgot the network you can just go and reconnect to it and once again check if that solves the issue. If it's still not working then what we can do is come back over over to our network connection. You can click on the options button once again, scroll down to Wi-Fi frequency bands and click on this and make sure you have this set to the highest number of Hertz. So for me, that's five gigahertz only. Now, if your router is super far away from your PlayStation, you may actually want to change this to 2.4 gigahertz instead. But if your router is right next to your PlayStation, definitely have this set to five gigahertz. Now, if it's still not working, there is one final solution. So what we're gonna do is come back over to the network options and click on advanced settings. From here we can scroll down to DNS settings and click on this and we're going to change this from automatic to manual. Now for the primary DNS you need to go and type in the following numbers. So we're just going to type in 8.8.8.8 and then you can go and press done. And for the secondary DNS, you need to go and type in 8.8.4.4 and then you can go and press done. Now, once you've done all of that, you can close out of this window and you can check if your network is now working. If it's still not working, you can try another set of DNS servers instead. So for the primary DNS, you can try 1.1.1.1. You can then go and press done. And for the secondary DNS, we're just going to change this to 1.0.1. 0.1 and then once you've applied this you can go and press done at the bottom of this page and that should have now solved any network issues with your PlayStation 5. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.